A major shopping destination in downtown San Francisco is leaving. Plus, an uncertain future grows even more murky in Oakland. The new call to action being made amidst the latest signs the A's will soon leave the Coliseum. I'm Andrea Sistio. Let's get you synced in. It's another major hit to downtown San Francisco. The Macy's at San Francisco's Union Square will be closing. Stores among 150 locations set to close across the country. The retailer says it's part of a bold new chapter that will involve closing underproductive locations. But the one in Union Square isn't closing just yet. The Macy's is going to stay open until the company is able to sell that building. No word on when that'll happen. Mayor London Breed said in a statement, quote, the city will continue to work closely with Macy's and any any potential new owner to ensure this iconic location continues to serve San Francisco for decades to come. She adds that this closure has nothing to do with crime. San Francisco leaders are launching a new plan to fight back against the opioid epidemic. They're hoping to crack down on drug dealers, charging them with murder in any case tied to a deadly overdose. That plan goes hand in hand with a strategy first announced last fall to use a task force to investigate opioid related deaths. City leaders tell us that task force is now in the final stages of being assembled. San Francisco DA Brooke Jenkins says the city needs to attack the crisis from all levels. Well, the Oakland A's are no longer rooted in Oakland. Our NBC Sky Ranger was overhead the Coliseum as workers removed the signage that reads rooted in Oakland since 1968. That sign coming down ahead of the A's opening day on March 28th. Meanwhile, community activists are demanding Alameda County to take action of the future of the Coliseum. The Oakland Unified Coalition accused the Oakland A's of basically holding East Oakland hostage, not allowing that area to flourish, because the team is preventing the development of the Coliseum site, which would bring more affordable housing and jobs to East Oakland. They also say the team isn't allowing other events to take place at the Coliseum, which hurts the people who work there. John Fisher, stop preventing the use of the Coliseum by interested sports teams and sporting events. Sell your stake in the ownership of the Coliseum, or at the very least begin negotiating a cooperation agreement so that real change can be possible for the people of East Oakland. Yes. Step up to the plate. We reached out to the Alameda County Board of Supervisors for comment, but haven't yet heard back. A spokesperson for the A's confirms that the organization is meeting with the African American Sports and Entertainment Group in the coming weeks to discuss the future of the Coliseum property, but didn't provide additional details. The entertainment group launched last year, you might remember, in hopes of redeveloping the site and bringing another sports team to the city. The Oakland A's have made clear they intend to move ultimately to Las Vegas. But where will they play until Vegas is ready? According to The Athletic, Sacramento is actually the front runner to host the A's from 2025 through 2027. That'll do it for us today on Synced In. I'm Audrey Assistio. Take care and see you all tomorrow.